hi uh, this is the another problem in coordinate geometry related to distance formula the question is saying find the value of x if the distance between the points x comma minus 1 and 3 comma 2 is 5 okay so now we have to find the distance between these two points right and it is given that 5 uh, and we have to find out the value of x right suppose uh, let me draw a rough right uh, rough diagram over here uh, this is 3 2 right so 1 2 3 1 2 suppose 1 2 3 okay so 3 2 this is an figure another is x minus 1 okay so x may be somewhere w w I don't know just suppose somewhere right it is and minus 1 somewhere it's uh, w uh, minus 1 one step minus downward right so distance between these two points right is 5 unit so uh, it is 3 2 and this is x minus 1 so now I have to find out the value of this x right so let given two points are let's suppose this is P and Q right let uh, given points are right given points points are P x uh, P sorry P 3 2 P 3 2 and Q x minus 1 right therefore given that is pq pq distance is given that is 5 unit right and we know from the distance formula right uh, pq we can also write like this pq distance is that is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right it is root over is 5 or what we can write x2 let's suppose this is x2 uh, uh, y2 and this is x1 y1 so x minus 3 whole square plus minus 1 2 whole square minus 2 whole square right x here x2 minus x1 so this is x2 minus x1 and this is y2 minus 1 is y2 minus y1 that this is uh, 2 is th this I'm supposing as x1 and y1 and this I'm supposing as x2 and y2 and I'm applying this formula okay equals to 5 or x minus 3 whole square plus minus 1 minus 3 that is minus 3 whole square right equals to 5 and now just I'm squaring both side right squaring both side in such problem we generally square right squaring both side what we will get both squaring both sides if I will square both sides, it will be now the re uh, root will be removed, right? So x minus 3 whole square plus minus 3 whole square, it will be 9, right? Equals to 5 square, it will be 5 square, that is 25, right? So, or now I'm using here the formula that is called a minus b, it is in the form of a minus b whole square, right? And its formula is a square minus 2ab, right? 2 times a times b plus b square right exactly the same formula I'm using here a minus b it means a square means x square minus 2 a means x b means 3 right a square minus 2 a b plus b square plus 9 equals to 25 right so again in the next step it's plus 9 okay so or x square minus 6 x plus 9 plus 9 and again this 25 will come this side here it is positive therefore here will be its negative minus 25 equals to 0 or we can say x square minus 6x now plus 18 minus 25 right plus 18 minus 25 equals to 0 again I'm just doing in long way right a bit longer that you can understand easily now plus 18 and minus 25 how much it is right it's minus 7 exactly equals to 0 now see what do we have to do we have to find such two numbers that when we multiply then we'll be getting minus 7 but when we will add it will be minus 7 right so two numbers suppose a and b should be such number their product should be how much minus 7 but when you will add a and b it should be minus 6 right so just find out such numbers yeah of course it is minus 7 
and 1. If you multiply minus 7 and 1, it will be minus 7. And if you add minus 7 plus 1, it will be minus 6, right? So we both, in both way we got this. So here are two numbers that are minus 7 and minus 1. So we'll be doing like this. Or x square minus 7x plus x or you can say simply 1x also okay uh, sorry it's minus 7 minus 7 equals to 0 so minus 6 I can also write like this minus 7x plus 1x right so in this place I have written this right so in the place of minus 6x I can write like this minus 7x plus 1x minus 7 equals to 0 right so now I'm taking the LCM here x is common that's why x is coming out and x left since there was two uh, there were two square so two x so uh, one x come outside now x is left and seven is back side again there is nothing so one will come outside and again x minus seven equals to zero or x plus one x minus seven equals to zero so either x plus 1 equals to 0 therefore x equals to 1 or x minus 7 equals to 0 therefore x equals to 7 it will be minus 1 okay answer like this we have to find out the value of x right in next problem I will be doing a little bit different okay uh, that will clear you more uh, f fundamentals or more uh, information concept will give you in uh, next video okay or if you're watching through my website so in next page right my website you know i think that is skyingblogger.com right s k y i n g skying b l o g g e r dot com right this is my blog where i have the done lots of uh, exercises lots of practice series and lots of videos right so it will be better to uh, watch this video from the website okay bye bye